Hey boys and girls, I'm working at my shop today on my own blazer. This is my 99 blazer. Um, this is going to be the poster child for Infinity Custom Works. So everything I do to this car is gonna be completely custom. So it's already got a few custom touches that I would have done anyway. That's why I purchased it. So it's already got a head start. I purchased this car back in October. It is now May. Uh, I have literally done well, I've done a few things to it. Like I, I upgraded all the interior speakers. I fixed all the door panels, made them uh, basically sit properly and bolt up properly so everything's snug and tight. Uh, I have shampooed the interior, cleaned everything out on the inside. I've done a little bit to the outside. I got some of the glass straight. I still need to polish it all, uh, but I did get all the water spots off. Um, this car is going to get VersaCoat 13. Um, I may have the color shift I'm going to use on it. Let me see. Um, I just don't know is the problem. I believe that this is it. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you one that I believe to be it. Oh, this one's it. Okay. I got it. All right. We're in good shape. Let me show you this one. This is actually uh, what I'm going to use on the blazer. See how it shifts to that orangish copper color. So that's what we're going to put on the blazer. Um, it will be glossier than this because this I mixed 50-50 with acetone. And the more you reduce VersaCoat 13, the less glossy it is. So you always want to use, uh, you want to reduce less for your final coat, whether you're going to do your final coat as the coat with the pearls in it, or the final coat with just VC13 in clear. I would reduce it about 30% acetone to 70% uh, versus coat 13. But anyway, that's where I'm going to go with the blazer. Um, but today, um, I'm working on So the suspensions already done. I definitely have to do a little bit of engine work. I've got a rear main seal leak um, I don't have time to pull the trans so I'm probably gonna take it somewhere to do that This thing is getting a massive stereo system. I've got two 15s that are gonna go in there I got an 8,000 watt amplifier that's going in there on the subs it's gonna be a bad man when it's done It's gonna be a fun car cool car the enclosure. I'm gonna build out of um, Russian Baltic birch, which is the best stuff you can use for a uh, speaker enclosure. And um, so today I am going to be cleaning up these, uh, I'll show you over here where I got a little bit more light. We're going to be cleaning up these rotors. Um, he just purchased, the guy before me just purchased very basic rotors, nothing fancy. Um, they're fine. Um, the pads are good. Everything's good. So I'm just going to basically take a wire brush and clean off all the surface rush, rust. I will then spray with the brake parts cleaner to clean everything up and to prep for the paint. Then I'm probably going to paint the rotors silver and the calipers are going to get the... Uh, I use two different paints when we do caliper paint here. One of which is the G2 system. Uh, this paint is actually awesome. The only problem is it's very expensive. Um, and they do offer lots of different colors, as you can see on the package. I believe this to be the old packaging. Um, as you can see, my accent color for this build is going to be lime. So I'm going to do the brake calipers in lime green, and then I'm just going to make these look the part by painting them silver. So this, the rotors are gonna get POR15 brake caliper paint in silver, and then the calipers are all gonna get this G2 brake caliper paint in lime. Um, I love this lime. I used it on a Honda Civic, a 2000 Honda Civic I bought a few years ago. And before I had the whole build done, I actually was offered more money than it was worth, so I took it. So anyway, this is what's happening today. And then when I put my wheels back on, I do have a brand new set of chrome lug nuts that will look far nicer than the factory lug nuts that I took off. So we're just gonna dress up the wheel area a little bit and uh, 
that's that. Uh, the next order of business after I do all of this, because basically I'll do it, I'll leave the blazer on jack stands today. Tomorrow I'll come and put the wheels back on. But when I, before I put the wheels back on, I'm actually going to replace those blocks, these right here, with taller ones. So I'm basically gonna add two inches back to the uh, height. Because it sits a little low in the rear end anyway, and then when I put those two 15s in there, and the enclosure, and my lithium bank, and all of everything else that's going in the back of this thing, it's going to be a little bit heavy, so it's going to sag down a little bit. So I'm trying to compensate uh, by lifting the rear end up just slightly. So basically it's going to be a 2 inch lift from where it's at. The, uh, the blocks are, well there's a new... Here's the blocks. So basically I'm putting shorter blocks in to raise it back up, if that makes sense. So those are four inch blocks. These are two inch blocks. And so I'm gonna swap those out so that the blazer sits two inches higher than it does now in the rear end. So I'm also not trying to go crazy on this thing. It is a 99 blazer. While it runs really good and the AC works, heat where everything works, it's just, Still a 99 blazer so I don't want to go crazy but I want to give it a little bit of uh, some custom touches uh, so that I can represent some of the work that we do uh, Versacoat 13 is really the future of my company um, I expect when that gets mainstream that I will be contacted to sell out because the product is stupid amazing and the only one of its kind on the planet so we shall see how that works. But um, I wanna take this stupid intake out. Um, I think it's throwing uh, engine uh, check engine codes. It's very cheap eBay bullshit. So uh, I have gone to the junkyard and purchased a uh, factory intake system and I'll be putting that on this vehicle. I've got a little bit of body work to do. I gotta plastic weld those cracks. I gotta pull this dent out of the bumper and then it's got a couple dings in it. I'm not real worried about, but this hood is all kinds of nasty. You can see all the ripples, see all those dents. So I'm gonna body work. I was gonna take it off, put the factory hood on, but I don't, I don't dislike this hood. It also is a little bit custom. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this visor piece, but it came off of uh, the same era Oldsmobile Bravada, and that's kind of cool, whatever, I'll just leave it. So anyway, I'm just going to do some cosmetic touches for now, like the, wheel, the, like the caliper paint and the rotor paint and the lug nuts, and then I will raise the rear end up, and then I'm going to start uh, going through the engine, doing all the necessary upgrades and maintenance stuff. Cool part is... Um, this thing already has brand new upper and lower control arms with new ball joints, uh, tie rods, tie rod ends, couplers. I mean, the kit I bought it from really did a lot to this thing. Um, I am planning on taking all this molding off. Uh, looks like, well, somebody's put a screw in this thing. Um, I don't know. I don't want to replace the bumpers. That's the official answer. I do not want to put that kind of money into this thing. Um, this one's fine. I got some gum on it, but this side's fine. But these, so the, these corners that have the trim on them have holes in them. That front bumper also has holes in it. The problem is when I take them off, if I fill those holes in the plastic, it is likely that that's going to crack and fall out. I don't want to do that. I just don't want the trim on there. So I might end up having to leave it. I might just paint right over it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's basically what's going on with the blazer. Um, I've got probably without doing much else to this thing, I'm going to definitely paint this radiator support. This all looks like crap. I'll probably pull this uh, computer out and paint it and then paint a few touches underneath the hood. Um, I may paint uh, that intake 
the factory intake that I have over there. I might paint that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to try to customize it while spending as little money as possible, which is kind of what I'm trying to do is um, build this thing up and have it not own me when I'm done. <laughs> I still want to feel okay about selling it, if that makes sense. So I don't want to put a ton of money in it. I just want to make it look cool. And I don't plan on selling it anytime soon. I'm going to keep it, probably take it to some shows, show off the VersaCoat and all of that when I do it. But um, that's kind of where we're at today. So as I get rolling, now that we're almost 11 minutes into this video and I haven't done anything, I'm going to go ahead and get rolling, uh, get everything cleaned up. I'll bring you back, show it to you. And then um, as I get painting, I'll show you that too. So we'll talk to you in a bit when I get something done. All right, fast forward about three hours and I've got some more done. Let me grab my light here. I got the new uh, Versaco 13 and Infinity Custom Works decals for my boat. Pretty excited about that. I've got to cut the rest of them. It's going to be pretty unique. Anyway, so I decided to go ahead and freshen up some of the frame that you can see. I just scuffed it with a, um, the well, the same stainless steel brush. Man, the fumes are serious in here. I'm gonna try to make this fast. I've had my respirator on the whole time I was painting it, but dang. So, Put my face in my shirt while I film. All right, so I decided to go ahead and scuff and then I sprayed with non-chlorinated brake, uh, brake cleaner all over the frame to clean it up. And then I just hit it with a coat of flat black Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm going to hit it with another coat tomorrow. Uh, that stuff takes forever to dry and it says recoat within 24 hours. So tomorrow I'll make sure I'm here around noon, which will give me about four hours before the 24 hour window is closed and I'll just put another coat on it. But I just wanted to clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit better. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with those leaf springs, but anyway, I got the calipers painted with three coats of the G2. I got one, one first coat, a heavy second coat, and then I went around and hit all the major areas with a third coat. Yes, I got a little bit on the rotor, but that's why I did the calipers first and I'm gonna do the rotors tomorrow because that tolerance is really, really close and I can spin the axle to basically turn it to a different size side without touching the caliper at all. So I'm gonna paint this top side silver and this piece Silver I might do just the edge, but the wheel butts up against that so you can't really see anything else. So um, So that's where I'm at with that Frame looks good Man, it's strong in here a little bit on the rotor again good even coverage everywhere frame looks nice um, I did brush it on the frame. I don't really care um I just wanted it to look a little bit better and it definitely does. So I do another coat tomorrow and then I'll paint those rotors and I will uh, put the wheels back on with the new lug nuts. So looks good. All right, well, I'll bring you back tomorrow when I have more done, but this is basically the first order of business before I start working on this thing seriously and uh, getting her all modified to show her off a little bit. So I'll bring you back uh, when I get back here tomorrow to basically uh, put another coat on the frame and then get the two coats on all the rotors and we'll be good to go. All right, my peeps. So. Over the course of two days, um, yesterday and the day before that, I was working on my Blazer's wheels. I mean, they, let's talk about it. All right, so this is my 99 Blazer. Next year, it'll be a classic. So this thing, when I bought it, it had this 
Beltec suspension system on it. It's a uh, three, four drop. And it has the Biltec drop shocks, drop, rear leaf springs, and the whole full Biltec suspension. But the rotors he put on, right before I bought it, he had replaced all the brakes. Everything was brand new. And everything works fine. It just looked like shit. Um, he bought cheap brakes. And a lot of times here in Florida, the auto parts stores don't give an give us an option for the extra coated ones they will start with the mid tier and down so what i had to do is i had to paint the rotors this section here and this section here silver because they were all rusted and looked like absolute garbage i went ahead and painted this uh outside lip here just to give it a little bit more color and then uh as far as the calipers go, I painted those with the G2 brake caliper system in lime green. And then I added these chrome lug nuts. I did realize when I put the wheels all on that what the fuck is that? um that there's no hub centric ring there. So I'm going to probably try to order those. So when I put on the wheel, I had to adjust it where the lug nut was perfectly centered. And uh, I drove over here from the shop just fine. So I'm not real worried about it. Uh, and everything's tight, so it's good. But at the same time, it needs those hub centric rings. But you can see how fantastic things look now compar compared to how they did before. There's a front. It's the front passenger. Here's the front or the rear passenger. And then we got the driver's side. Looks a lot better. It's not perfect. Perfection is not reality, but it looks really good compared to what it did. At least all that rust is out of sight. So, um, I don't know what all this is. I'm guessing it's Oh yeah, it's paint. Little chunks of paint. I gotta clean the wheels and stuff, but it's just literally just sitting there, so no biggie. But anyway, looks pretty cool. I like the lime green, and when I do the Versico 13 with the color shift, the whole thing's gonna look good. If you also notice, I did the frame down there, just where you could see. I don't really. I don't want to put any more effort into it or really money than uh, what I did. But I got all the frame blacked out and looks good. This is Gary Dean, InfinityCustomWorks.com, DetailJuice.com, and Gary Dean Detailing. If you need me, let me know. I do full-on customs. I have for years, but only on the down low. I've been focusing on my detailing product line at DetailJuice.com and my detailing services at Gary Dean Detailing. But now... It's all about the custom. Need something custom done, like this frame painting, caliper painting, rotor painting, just generally making them look good and touching them all up, let me know. 813-846-4406 is my cell. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs, and that's kind of where I'm at. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.